In the annals of British royal history, few relationships have sparked as much intrigue and controversy as that between Queen Victoria and her Scottish servant, John Brown. Born on December 8, 1826, in the small village of Craithy near Balmoral, John Brown entered royal service shortly after Queen Victoria and Prince Albert acquired the Highland estate. Over time, his closeness to the Queen evolved into a bond that would fuel scandal and rumours, challenging the very perceptions of monarch-servant dynamics during the Victorian era. John Brown's journey to the Queen's side began in modesty. He was the second of 11 children born to a farming family. His father, a former schoolmaster turned farmer, and his mother, Margaret, Nee Lays, raised Brown in a setting that was rural, yet steeped in the stoic values of the Scottish Highlands. Initially working at a local coaching inn, and then as a pony herder, Brown's robust and reliable nature caught the eye of Prince Albert. By 1849, he had risen to a position of trust, chosen to ride alongside the royal carriage during narrow mountain journeys for the safety of the royal couple. Brown's duties expanded rapidly. Within two years of his initial appointment, he was tasked with leading Queen Victoria's pony on Highland expeditions, a role that endeared him further to the Queen. His down-to-earth manner and knack for brewing an excellent pot of tea, reportedly enhanced with a grand nipper whiskey, won him the Queen's favour, a relationship strengthened further after the death of Prince Albert in 1861. Albert's high regard for Brown ensured that the servant's influence and presence in Victoria's life would only grow. The bond between Victoria and Brown, however, was not without its complexities. In October 1863, Brown's heroic actions during a carriage accident solidified his position as an indispensable confidant and protector, rescuing the Queen and her ladies after their driver lost control. Yet, it was this closeness that kindled the flames of scandal. By the mid-1860s, rumours swirled of a more personal connection between the Queen and her servant, exacerbated by reports such as a morganatic marriage and even a secret child, fueled by gossip and satirical jabs in publications like Punch and the Tomahawk. Despite such rumours, there was never concrete evidence of a romantic relationship and many historians view their relationship as one of deep emotional reliance rather than a romantic liaison. Victoria, having lost her father early and then her beloved husband, found in Brown a strong supportive male figure, an anchor in her tumultuous world. His forthright manner and refusal to flatter her contrasted sharply with the deference she was accustomed to, and it appears she valued his honesty and loyalty immensely. The royal household and family, however, viewed Brown with a mix of disdain and jealousy. His unrestricted access to the Queen, especially during her illnesses, and his influence over her decisions were sources of tension and resentment among her children and the broader court. Even Prime Ministers like William Gladstone found themselves indirectly rebuked by Brown's blunt interventions. John Brown's death on March 27, 1883, at Windsor Castle, marked the end of an era for Queen Victoria. His passing left her utterly crushed, and to the day of her death, she cherished mementos of Brown, including his mother's wedding ring and a lock of his hair, which she requested be placed in her coffin. The relationship between Queen Victoria and John Brown remains a fascinating chapter in the narrative of the British monarchy reflecting the complexities of personal relationships within the rigid structures of royal life. It challenges our perceptions of the emotional needs and personal connections of one of Britain's most iconic monarchs. What do you think about the intriguing relationship between Queen Victoria and John Brown? Was it a deep emotional bond, a strategic alliance, or something more? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you have another historical figure or scandal you'd like us to explore, let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more fascinating tales from raw history.